In today's episode, we show you how to make music with stuff found around your house. Wow, that's not annoying at all. Roll the intro! Space Dragon and Kim! Hey, Kim! Do you want to start a band and get so, so famous? Um, yeah, I do. Well, do that again. Neat! Now let's start a band and write a hit song! Woo! Wait, Space Dragon, we have one problem. Oh, right, yeah. Only one of us is a good singer. Whoa, whoa, whoa! They should make turtleneck sweaters for giraffes! No, 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 no! That was beautiful. But no, the one reason that we can't start a band is because we don't have any musical instruments. Huh, that is a problem. Yeah. But you're a scientist. Can't you just use random junk to make musical instruments? Well, yes I can. And I can show you at home how to do it too. Yes I can, yes I can. Let me show you how to make that cool saxophone. If you happen to have one of these straws at home, maybe try this one fun thing. So what you want to do is you want to flatten one side of the straw. Make sure it's really flat, like Space Dragon singing. I don't get that, but I'll assume it was a compliment. Then what you want to do is you want to cut the side of the straw into a point. Then all you gotta do is just put it in your mouth, make sure not to poke your tongue, and then blow. I know, cool, right? Awesome! Then if you want, you can actually cut little holes down the side of the straw and it makes different notes. Yes, it does. Whoa, you sound like a duck. Excuse me? I don't sound like that, so if you guys maybe, I don't know, maybe just stop texting me. We're not friends anymore. I didn't text him. Speaking of ducks, did you know that you could also make a quacking sound using a blade of grass? Look at that! So what you want to do is take this piece of grass, just like so, and you want to make sure it's really taut over the length of your thumb. Okay. Then what you want to do is put your other thumb on the other side, and you basically want to have space on either side of the grass. Like that. Then all you have to do is just blow like this. <laughs> nice! I'm sure your parents are just going to love that especially if they're napping. So what's happening here is the air from your lungs is pushing against the instrument, causing it to vibrate rapidly, sending honking sounds out into the air. Oh, okay. But you know, you can actually make musical instruments out of tons of things found at home. Take, for example, this comb. Take a piece of baking sheet, just like this, then put your comb in the center and fold it over. Now, if you want, you can put a little piece of tape right here. You could also get fancy. You can put some decorations on it, because why not? Oh yeah, I've done this before. You just dry your lips, put your lips on the comb thingy, and then make a do 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 noise. Do you know what that is? That is your giraffe song, and it has been stuck in my head all day. Science time! Have you ever had a song stuck in your head, and a part of it just repeats, and repeats, and repeats, and repeats, and repeats, and repeats, and repeats? That's called an earworm. Studies have shown that the best way to get a song out of your head is to actually listen to it all the way through. Wow, thanks, earworm. <laughs> Those graphics were so realistic. But you know what? There are a lot of cool instruments you can make at home. Yep, you can put some rice in the cup parts of a cut-up egg carton, tape up all the holes and decorate it, then you've got a cool egg shaker. Or you can put that rice between a paper plate. And this is where you want to tape only half of it, just like so. Doesn't have to be fancy, but you do want to make sure to cover any holes. Mm -hmm. Then just fold the plate. How about we decorate this one to look like an alien? And look, you got yourself a tambourine-like thing. Or you can put your hand under your armpit. That's an interesting noise. Or what you can do is take this bottle and blow into it. Or you can fill up some glasses with different heights of water, and then you got yourself a little homemade xylophone. Oh, awesome. That is so beautiful. I know. Kim, yeah. thanks so much for teaching me about the science of music. No problem, buddy. I think we're ready to start our band. Let's do one, a two, one, two, three, four. Turtleneck sweaters for giraffes. They should make turtleneck sweaters for giraffes. Someone tell my grandma that her hair is made of scatty right. and meatballs. All right. It's gonna be a hit. <laughs>